are no exception. There was a very contentious committee hearing yesterday when Fairfax County Delegate Kathy Tran made her case for lifting restrictions on third trimester abortions as well as other restrictions now in place. And she was pressed by a Republican delegate about whether her bill would permit an abortion even as a woman is essentially dilating, ready to give birth. And she answered that it would permit an abortion at that stage of labor. Do you support her measure and, and explain her answer? Yeah, and I'm, you know, I wasn't there, uh, Julie, and I, I certainly can't speak for uh, Delegate Tran, but um, I would tell you, one, uh, first thing I would say, this is why decisions such as this should be made by providers, uh, physicians, uh, and uh, the uh, mothers uh, and fathers that, that are involved. Um, there are, you know, when we talk about third trimester uh, abortions, these are done uh, with the consent uh, of obviously the, the mother, with the consent uh, of the physicians, more than one physician, by the way. Um, and it's done in cases where there may be severe deformities, there may be a, a, a fetus that's non-viable. So in this particular example, uh, if a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So, so I think this was really blown out of proportion. Uh, but again, we want the government not to be involved in these types of decisions. We want the decision to be made by uh, the, the mothers and their providers. And, and this is why Julie, that legislators, most of whom are men, by the way, shouldn't be telling a woman what she should and shouldn't be doing with her body. And do you think multiple physicians should have to weigh in as is currently required? She's trying to lift that requirement. Well, I think it's always good to get uh, a second opinion and for, for at least two providers to be involved in that decision because these decisions shouldn't be taken lightly. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, I, w I would certainly support more than one provider. All right. Let's uh, go back to the phones now uh, for the governor. We're going to talk now with uh, Mike, who's calling.